Hello friends, Tony here. Uh, in the last video I created this billboard for the Netflix project, which we have also the same on the Netflix. Now I want to create a list with cards, which we can use to render uh, different categories. Okay? Good. Now let's open the VS Code and here, inside the resources, uh, JS components, we have front end. Here I'm going to create a new component, which I'm going to name it a uh, mobile list dot tsx and let's say react arrow function component export like this okay so to this uh, div i'm going to add some classes so let's say class name and i'm going to say px4 then i'm going to say an md and up the px is going to be 12 also i'm going to say margin top of 4 and uh, margin bottom of 6 and also space x to be 8 let's remove this uh, movie list and here i'm going to add a paragraph to display the title okay so here we have the uh, category title and let's come here let's say p with some class names i'm going to say text to be uh, white okay i think we have white here yeah text white then i'm going to say uh, text bmd and also on md i'm going to change that to be text excel and on large to be text uh, true excel okay font also is going to be semi bold also i'm going to say margin bottom of uh, four here is going to be the title and let's close this paragraph Next, I'm going to add a div with a class name, and here I'm going to add the grid. And let's say also grid calls uh, four. And I'm going to add the gap uh, two. Okay, here now we are going to display the cards, movie cards. Okay, I'm going to save this, and I'm going to open the welcome. TSX and use that after the billboard. Okay, so here I'm going to say movie list and let's save. We have imported the movie list right here. Okay, now let's create the movie cards. So let's go. Let's uh, come here and create a new component and I'm going to name it a uh, movie card. Dot tsx and let's say react arrow function component export like this okay and let's start and work with this okay so let's say class name first i'm going to say group and then i'm going to say bg to be uh, not black let's say slate what we have 900 okay and i'm going to say this is going to be called span it's going to be relative and also I'm going to say edge to be and here I'm going to add uh, 12 a VW okay now let's remove this uh, movie card and it is if you want to keep it uh, and see for yourself you can pause the video okay next I'm going to add the image uh, let's see here yeah, we have the image and then on the hover, this is going to be another card, another image. So let me just come here and let's say image. And I'm going to add some classes also here. So class name, I'm going to say cursor pointer. Okay, also I'm going to say object cover. Then I'm going to say transition. Not transition none, but transition. I'm going to add a duration. And yeah, let's say 200. Okay, then I'm going to say shadow XL. Here, around it also, let's say around it MD. Yeah, on group hover. Opacity is going to be 90. Then I'm going to say on small and up, on group hover. 
I'm going to say opacity zero. And then I'm going to say delay to be uh, 300 and width is going to be full and head so I'm going to say uh, an arbitrary value 12 VW like this okay then we can add also the source code which is going to be slash uh, and for now I'm going to add in the images directory let's see we have public images netflix dash one jpeg yeah let's leave it like this okay now we have the image after that i'm going to add another div and here i'm going to say class name and i'm going to say opacity to be zero also i'm going to say absolute and then i'm going to say top of zero then we can say uh, transition and duration so transition duration 200 okay i'm going to say also easy in out then i'm going to say z 10 and uh, invisible on small and up i'm going to say uh, visible then let's say also here delay 300 and we can say also with full now we can say scale zero on group hover or you can say scale uh, 110 and on group hover i'm going to say also minus translate y dash and i'm going to use an arbitrary value of 6 vw Okay, then on group hover, I'm going to say also opacity to be 100. Wait, it's here. And I think we are okay now with this div. Now in this div, I'm going to add the image. Image, and I'm going to set some class, I'm going to add some class names. So the first one is going to be cursor pointer. Okay, object cover. Then I'm going to say also transition we can add also duration 200 and i'm going to say shadow excel and also around it uh, md but now i want only around it on top if we see here yeah we don't have around it right here so around it top md and i would say with the default and also add an arbitrary value for H to be uh, 12 VW. Okay, then the source. Which had to be Netflix, images Netflix-1 JPEG. Okay, we are good. After this one, I'm going to add a div. As you can see here, we have icons and we have also some other things but i'm going to add only icons and the list of the genres belong to that movie so let's see let's add the div and let's say add some class names first i'm going to say z then next i'm going to add the bg to be slate and now here i'm going to use 950 okay Padding of uh, two, I'm going to say on large to be padding of four. Okay. I'm with that absolute width full. Let's say absolute width full. I'm going to say also transition. Not known, but transition and shadow MD. Next, I'm going to say also rounded bottom MD. And let's close this div. Now inside this div, I'm going to add another div with some classes. And the classes are going to be flex. Okay, flex row. And then I'm going to say justify between. 
Okay, items is going to be in the center. And I'm going to add also a gap of uh, three. Good. Next, inside this div, I'm going to add another div with the class to be flex. And I'm going to say also space, uh, let's say space X4. Now in here, we are going to add a div. Inside this div, I'm going to add an SVG. So let's say add a div with a class and also here, I'm going to say cursor pointer. Okay, I'm going to say width edge uh, to be six. On large width is going to be 10. Also large edge is going to be 10. I'm going to add a BG to be slate, let's say, 400 I'm going to add also around it to be full then I'm going to say flex because it is going to be flex also justify center and items is going to be in the center then I'm going to say transition and on hover I'm going to say uh, BG slate, let's say BG slate uh, 100. And I think we are good. Now for the SVGs, we can see, I'm going to search for the hero icons. And let's see what SVGs we have here. Yeah, we have the play and the plus icon. So I'm going to say play. We have this one, copy SVG here. And I'm going to paste it right here. Then I'm going to copy all this div and paste it down there. Just change the SVG, which is going to be a plus SVG. Copy this one. So I'm going to say here something like this. Yeah, remove the SVG from here. I'm going to save. Let's scroll up and I'm going to close this one and also this one here. Mm -hmm. And here I'm going to add another div. So let's say div with the class name. And just I'm going to say here to be justify and okay here is going to be the release date so for example the uh, 12 12 2 oh, 24 2024 okay this is going to be for the date and where is the date here if I see we don't have the date here, but I'm going to add the release date right here. And I'm not going to add this for more info. So it's going to be three, uh, two icons. And here is going to be the date. And then I'm going to list the genres. So let's open again here. And have sort of this div who holds all the list here. I'm going to add another div. So let's say a div with a class name and here I'm going to add now flex flex row also I'm going to say margin top of a four then I'm going to add a gap of two and also I'm going to say items to be in the center I'm going to close and here for example is going to be let's say I'm going to add a paragraph with class name to be Cursor pointer. Text is going to be white. Text, not text pixel, but uh, let's say text uh, extra small and on large text is going to be small. Okay. Now let's say uh, action, for example, here. And I'm going to close this paragraph, copy and paste. And let's say, for example, this is going to be a thriller. And I'm going to save. Now, on the movie list, here where we have cards, I'm going to add 
show card some would say movie card okay let's close and let's add another one movie card here and another one another one just to see the results i'm going to save and let's come and see here yeah we have a title here as you can see and we have three cards and this is how it's going to look uh, we don't have the hover effects we don't see the cursor pointer as you can see only on the why we don't have because i think we i have make a mistake on the movie card let's see where i have let's search for yeah we have to say cursor pointer like this just like this next one is here and i think we are okay now if i save let's see back a refresh and now we have a, yeah we have a cursor pointer and i think it's looking okay okay friends that's it all about this video what i wanted to show you and what we need to create in the next video now we are going to work with the data because right now we have a dummy data now if you like such videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much